Pixel is one of the most popular lineup in today's smartphone market. But the only thing that I hate about it that they clearly show what awesome features the stock Android can offer and that I can't have it. But if you are a custom ROM guy, then you know that's partially true, as you can get all the latest and greatest features of newer version of Android by just installing a custom ROM. And that's exactly why today I'll be reviewing a custom ROM known as Omni ROM, which is based on latest version of Android that is Android Oreo 8.1. And I'm testing this ROM on my OnePlus 5 since almost 3 days and it is also available for OnePlus 5T. The ROM is pretty smooth and it's almost stable to use it as your daily driver plus it also offers some really awesome customization options. More on that in the later part of the video. So now with that being said, let's start. So let's start with the performance. Now, I am using Omni ROM since last 3 days and the ROM feels quite stable with my daily day to day usage. It is running on the latest version of Android that is Oreo 8.1 and the security patch is of 5th December 2017. The Omni ROM is so well optimized and enhanced with minute details that it often hard to believe that I am using a custom ROM. I mean, the experience I get is supreme in terms of usability and smoothness. As of now, I haven't encountered any major bug, so I think it's good to say that the ROM is pretty stable. Now moving forward to its features. The Omni ROM offers tons of customization options. If you go to the setting menu, at the top you will find an option called Omni Gears. Here you will find different customization categories like style, device features, buttons, etc. Starting with style and as the name suggests, it will let you change the style of the UI. At first, you will get bunch of Omni wallpapers which I personally don't like that much. Next up we have the system UI style that will basically let you change the notification panel color from dark to light or you can go with wallpaper based color which is a new feature of Android 8.1. Next up we have the option to choose custom header image if you like to apply it and you do have some pre-installed images which I think looks really amazing. Moving forward to device features, here you will find off-screen gestures similar to what we are used to in Oxygen OS. But here you do have some extra gesture support like swipe up and down plus swipe left and right gestures. Additionally, you will find some really useful ambient display options such as now you can view the notification with just a hand wave or you can also choose from pocket or pickup option. One of my favorite feature in this category is this vibrator option through which you can change the strength of vibrator. Here you also have some standard slider and graphics option. In short, there are lots of customization options in this ROM that I have to make a separate 10 minute video to cover all the options. If you want me to do that, then do let me know that in the comment section. Except these features, all the other audio features like the picture in picture mode, autofill API, notification dots are working just fine. Plus as I mentioned earlier that this ROM is based on Android Audio 8.1, so you do get all the 8.1 features like automatic light and dark theme, battery level for Bluetooth devices, new audio easter egg, semi-transparent quick setting panel and more. Now I'll be making a full video on what's new in Android 8.1, so stay tuned. At last, if we talk about the battery performance, which is a major concern of every user, I think the battery performance of Omni ROM is almost similar to the current stable ROM of Oxygen OS, which is quite okay for me. Plus, the test charging is also working fine. After a full day usage, I am getting almost 6 hours of screen on time with moderate gaming and watching YouTube videos. So, in terms of battery backup, a big thumbs up to the developer. Also, the camera app in this ROM is pretty good and it offers some extra added features like candlelight, chrome flash, snow, beach, etc. The camera app UI is easy to use, but I think it's not as good as Oxygen OS camera app. Plus, while I was taking some test shots, I observed that the photos are not that good, but they aren't that bad either. And in portrait mode, this camera really struggles in separating foreground from background, which is a big downside for me. So all in all, the ROM is pretty stable to use this as your daily driver and I didn't encounter any bug or random reboots in my testing period. There is no doubt that Omni ROM is one of the best ROM available for OnePlus 5 or 5T and the best thing that I liked about this ROM is that the updates are very constant. So if you are looking for a ROM that offers tons of customization options and still give you a stock experience then I will highly suggest you to install this ROM and you won't regret. 
Now, if you guys want me to make a video on how to install this ROM, then do let me know that in the comment section. And one important thing that I would like to mention is that if you're flashing any other ROM or taking backup after installing Omni ROM, then make sure you remove any kind of pin or password before booting into TWRP recovery. Because in Android 8.1, the internal storage automatically gets encrypted. To avoid this, just remove any kind of security from the ROM. So guys, that's it for this video. If you want to see more custom ROM videos for OnePlus 5 and 5T, then do let me know that in the comment section. And if you like this video, then do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.